It's the rubber match today between the number four Duke Blue Devils and the Louisville Cardinals in some ACC softball action. Welcome in to Don Davina Field here at the booth at Ulmer Stadium. That misses outside. Tapia is aboard as Zabala gives the free pass to start things off. On Jennings. So to the left-hand side, moving to her left as Bailey Richardson gets the lead runner at second. Alexander is there to make the grab. One out here for the cards. Yeah, good defensive play there, cutting down that lead run. Off speed, Goff throws down. The ball pops out of Daisy Hess's glove. The throw was there seemingly in time. We're gonna miss, and a strikeout for Zabala. Big out number two for the sophomore. For both teams, has just been outstanding. She finds 3-4 gap. Jennings with the green light. The relay, no play there. Ball going straight to Goff, and a big single and an RBI for Vega. Vega does a good job on this ball, and this is what we've seen a lot. Nobody's trying to do too much. The pitchers have been really good this series. This is just a ground ball that gets through. It's a great placement. She's hitting behind a runner, finding some green, scoring a run. Some of the players really struggling to get under the ball with that wind. Change up in on the hands. Daisy Hess will make the grab. Shallow center field. Duke puts one across the board. Oh. Swings on this, it's in to left field. And a great play there by Amaya Burgess. Again, you could see that wind, the way Burgess read that ball, it kind of hung that butt down. Those are her two best options. Paige Garrity, little chopper to the left-hand side. That's on a gold. Out number two for Duke. Yeah, and that was gonna be the... Oh, and two to Hess, and she takes that one off her torso. That one got away from Jayla Wright. It sure did. This is not the pitch you want to throw. For three straight years. Drills this up the middle, and Daisy Hess looking to get an extra 60 feet and is thrown out. A little too aggressive on the base pass there, Joanna. Yeah, Frizzell does a great job. He's in Taylor White in her first. Brian Jones, that is off Alyssa Zabala. That throw up and over the head of Frizzell, and Kelly Torres gets an extra 60 feet. This runner at second base for the Blue Devils. Three and one, the count to Burgess. He is now aboard with the walk, the second one given by country you think about, but Massachusetts it is. Lays the bunt down, Zabala unable to make a play on that, just bobbles it a little bit, and now base is juiced for the Blue Devils. That foul ball. Another one and two. Sent to the opposite field here. Miller giving chase, unable to collect that ball. It falls, one will score, two will score. Marissa Young still with the wheel, but pull Freelich back to third base. Fair. Yeah, that's called fair from the home plate umpire. And you can see Miller right about here. Not sure what is happening with the ball. Her initial read does not mesh with what her final read was. Tried to recover and make a play, unable to keep it in her glove. Last season and the all ACC second team sends this into sky high right center field. Chelsea Mack will make the grab, sails a ball well over Kylie Goff's head. Another one will score for Duke. That was, you know, that they have to play a high level of defense all the time because it seems like there's always runners on base. And they're gonna get the double play. There's some defense. That is what Louisville needed to really ignite this defense. They do it well. 
Gabby Holloway skies one to right field. And in right field, my goodness, Amina it's danger Vega. zone out there. No joke. Covering a whole lot of ground. Torres picks the ball up and gets it to Tapia at first for the strikeout. Two outs for the blue. The payoff pitch from Jayla Wright is swung on and missed. And back-to-back -back strikeouts for Jayla Wright. She had to whittle down her tool set for her senior season and drills this up the middle. We've talked about it from the standpoint of Gabby Holloway being able to add that dimension yep. to her game finally. But on the flip side, you know, sometimes the reps be a Vega to the plate with Jayla Wright on first base, little chopper to the left-hand side. Bailey Richardson will go ahead and get that lead runner, get Jayla Wright out at second base for out number one. Payoff pitch to Gold. Swung on and missed, and Boo wins that battle for the second out. And the two and two to Kelly Torres. Swung on and missed, and back-to-back -back punch outs for Boo. A big comeback for the defense. Vega moving to her right, gets the ball over to Tapia at first, retires Alexander for the first out here in the bottom of the third. See a lot of fluctuation there in the coming weeks. Well, that was number 16 on the season that Kylie Goff has been plunked. Little chopper opting to go to first base with that ball. It was Vega. So Mac able to advance the runner. Limitations on how much you know, movement Coach April can find, but this is the way to crack it, performing in a pinch hit role. That'll be a strikeout. That's Jayla Rice, third of the game to retire Katie Thatcher. This is into center field. Chelsea Mack has to move a little bit as that ball carried toward the left field line a little bit. 1-0 is drilled up the middle, and Freelick aboard again. Yeah, Freelick did a great job recognizing this pitch coming out of the hand of Boo. You can see there's a reason why she was voted team captain as a sophomore in and up on the hands. Bailey Richardson makes the grab over her shoulder for out number two, retires Baker. Yeah, a lot of conversation about Baker. Topia two for four on the weekend, was in that nine hole spot for both games one and two and she's retired and before last and hess is given the free pass and those are few and far between given by jayla wright they are we've seen probably more this weekend than in any given time of a that's in the dirt daisy hess on her horse and into second base steals 60 feet yeah, good read from Hess on the base pads. Anytime as a base runner, no matter your speed, if you're able to recognize the pitch. For the cards now, one and two the count to Frizzell. Swings on this and another punch out for Jayla Wright as she retires. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Jayla Wright. She One and two, this is outside, and Torres can't get the ball in time. Daisy Hess takes another 60 feet. Another great read there on the base pads from Hess. Third, threatening for the cards. It's Vanessa Miller at the plate. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. And that catches the outside part of the play. That's the first strikeout looking. Run back in the first, ground out to third base. In the second, little chopper to Bailey Richardson at third. And another great stretch by Riley Frizzell. That never gets old watching Frizzell <laughs> stretch for balls at first base. Side to, to, or rather outside to inside, trying to finish these at bats off underneath her hands. 
Good job from Davidson fouling that one off. There's a swing and a miss, and that'll be a punch out for Giselle Tapia, the other player, to see all 60 games. And this is into left center field and gone as Vega drills a home run, making it a 5 nothing ball game. That's her fifth home run of the season. Absolute no doubter, Joanna. Yeah, Vicka got all of this one, and you can see as it comes in, just a great pitch to hit. She's able to barrel that up, and Boo has done really, really well working corners, but we know this Duke team can hit the long ball, but the difference is there's no one on base because yeah. Boo has been so good at working ahead, so yes, you're going to give up the long Sends this over to Bailey Richardson, a slow roller, and Richardson gets it to Frizzell at first for out number three. And throughout the year in the pinch hitting roll. That catches the inside part of the plate. And so first batter that Drug Mueller faces, she retires. Another payoff pitch is swung on and it'll drop in shallow right field. And Allie Alexander wins that battle in a, with a single. Alexander so good. Get the free pass back in the third. Swings on this, finds a 5-6 gap. Alexander will round second, but stay there. And back-to-back -back singles for the cards. Little chopper. And what a play by Jada Baker. Get that ball up and over her shoulder. That was an outstanding defensive play. And the pitches that she's been receiving. Little chopper, Garrity to Drug Mueller, but throws the ball away. Just kind of bounces in front of Tapia. Looks like she held onto the ball just a little bit too long and went down in trajectory. Runners on the corners, one. Two outs, pardon me. And now three outs. Now Duke will have to face Brooke Gray in the circle. One pitch, one swing, one out for the cards in the fourth. Now faces Brooke Gray. And she will be given the free pass as she takes one off the back of the leg. Another one and two. Swung on, sent into shallow right field. Vanessa Miller again diving for this ball. The ball pops out. But how about a heads up play by Allie Alexander to get that lead runner? Go ahead and make that throw. And it looks like Miller might be a little shaken up in the fourth. Swings on this, finds the five, six gap. Freelich will hold up at second base and a great at bat there by Jada Baker. Exit velocity or launch angle or anything else is if you miss. In and on the hands, Daisy Hess is able to retire Tapia as Duke will strand two. We're gonna head to the bottom of the six. The one and one to Brazil is absolutely launched into right field and off the top of the fence. That'll be a stand up double and I mean, it's Gabby Holloway now to face Drug Mueller and skies this one. On a gold, we'll make that play. Timeout's called yeah. from the pitcher's circle. It really messes with the momentum of the game. It negates the whole purpose of the pitch clock. Swing and a miss and a third strikeout from Vanessa Miller to one and one is sent to on a gold. On a gold throws across the diamond for the third out of the sixth frame. We're gonna head to the top of the seven innings. Now facing Brooke Gray in the circle. Great scoop there by Paige Garrity in left center field. Zampa pops this one up to Daisy Hess. So one out here for the cards defense. Sophomore skies this into center field. Chelsea Mack 
We'll glove that for out number two. This lineup. So a lot of interesting things coming out of this series. Swing and a miss. Punch out for Brooke Gray. Jayla Wright. Off speed. And that hits the back of the helmet of Alexander. So Alexander. <laughs> Drug Mueller wins that battle, though, as she retires and sits down Kylie Goff with a strikeout. Off speed, misses. Venturelli gets the free pass. Base runners on first and second for the cards. Swing and a miss there, and a huge strikeout for Drug Mueller to get out number two. Duke one out away. Walked in the fourth again, stranded at third. Swings on this, sends it into shallow right field. That'll drop. One run will score, and now runners on the corners. Daisy Hess coming up big with that RBI. <laughs> kind of toy with that right field line, and you can see it's, it's based on the spin of the pitch. Drug Mueller doing a good job keeping that tight spin, and. Hess finding a way to put that in between the lines and pass the bat. That's big for Louisville right now. For noon. Drills this, the 5-6 gap. One will score. Daisy Hess. Again, the aggressive base running. Runners. So again, Louisville down to its last strike now. A swing and a miss, and Jayla Wright coming in, saving the day, keeping a looming Louisville offense at bay. Well, and you can just see in this replay the movement on that ball is just dirty, and Jayla Wright continues to put her team in the position that it wants to be in, running the table, winning the series. And if you continue to win every series, then you're going to be where you want to be at the end of the year. And for them, that's at home when they host the ACC tournament.